woman who were coming to his house and whenever he was passing through there alikuwa akienda kula kule na ikapita wakati mwingi akipita mahali pale akila na yule mwanamke siku moja akamwambia mumewe tukaweza kumtengenezea huyu mtu wa Mungu alitumia jina Holy the Holy Man of God kumtengenezea mahali pa kulala ili akija wakati ambao ametoka kumbili neno anapita hapa akila anaweza kulala kwaweza sifiwe na tunaona katika kitabu hiyo the old testament hakuna prophet mwingine aliyewa huyo kwaweza sifiwe kwa sababu huyu mama alielewa kuwa Elisha anafanya kazi ya Bwana na wakati mmoja Elisha akaja akala na akalala mahali pale the following morning a uh, Elisha akamwambia Gehazi niche yule mwanamke alipomuita akamuuliza ungetaka kufanywa nini kwa sababu leo ukalipo ambao ulikuwa na yule mama na yule mama akamwambia kuwa uh, I live among my people na ni kama ametosheka kwa sababu alimuuliza tukuongelee kwa mfalme ama kwa mkuu wa jeshi kumaanisha I live among my people kusema yeye yeah, ametosheka hapo kwa watu hao hakuna kitu ambacho wangetaka kupewa lakini Elisha akauliza Gehazi tena huyu mwanamke atufanyie nini na Gehazi akamwambia kuwa this house there is no son and her husband is old unaweza sikio so huyu mwanamke alikuwa na ile tamaa alikuwa anatamani kuwa na kijana ambao ataachia mali yao, shamba lao, nyumba yao na jina la mwenyewe ikaweza kuendeleza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini kwa sababu yule mzee alikuwa amezeeka, kwa hiyo alikuwa amepicha ama alikuwa amekubali kuwa atapata mtoto. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na Elisha akamwambia this time next year you will hold a son you will embrace a son yule mwanamke alimwambia usinidanganye mimi mtumishi wako kwa nini usifiwe ni kwa sababu alikuwa amepoteza imani na alikuwa amepicha hilo jambo hata baada ya mtoto lakini biblia inasema but she got pregnant and go a son kwa nini usifiwe na akapata mtoto akakuwa kwa siku moja yule mtoto akaenda kumwangalia babake akiwa mgonjwani na akaanza kulia kuwa kichwa kinakuuma na akamwambia mtumishi wake mmoja apresheshe nyumbani kwa mama yake na wakati yule kijana alipoubishwa aliweza kukaa kidogo ilipopita masaa saa sita nuni hivi yule kijana akafariki Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wakati huo yule mama amchukua yule mtoto akamlaza kwenye kitanda ambacho alikuwa anatengenezea Elisha. Na yule mama akamwambia mumewe nipe mtumishi mmoja na kuna niweze kwenda kumwangalia mtumishi wa Mungu Elisha katika mlima wa Karmel. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na yule mwanamke akatoka akaenda na Elisha alipo bwana akamtuma Gehazi akamwambia aende apatane na yule mama amuulize kama kila kitu kiko sawa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yule mwanamke alimwambia kila kitu kiko sawa. Na Elisha kwa sababu Mungu alimpicha kwa nini yule mwanamke akuja. Ndipo sasa alikuwa akamtuma Gehazi ende apoulize. Na wakati alipofika kwa Elisha aliweza kumshika mguu na Gehazi akaenda kumtoa lakini Elisha akamwambia wajana naye kwa sababu Yohana mwake ana utumu Bwana Yesu asifiwe na wakati huo yule mwanamke akamuuliza si mimi nilikwambia mimi usinidanganye Bwana Yesu asifiwe nilikuomba nilikwambia usinidanganye mbona ulikuombe mpate mtoto 
alafu nichukue ule mtoto akakufa alafu tena ndio basi bila mwingine bwana Yesu asifiwe na Elisha akamwambia Gehazi achukue fimbo yake aweze kwenda kwa ile nyumba akamwekelea ule mtoto lakini yule mama alimwambia sieleki ama sitoki hapa bila wewe bwana Yesu asifiwe na Gehazi akaambia okay barabarani usimuongereshe mtu yote usisaidie mtu yote ukaenda hadi kwa ule mama na ukaweza kumwekelea hiyo fimbo yangu na Gehazi aliyeenda akamwekelea na hakuna jambo lililotendeka wakati huo akarudi kumradi Elisha na akamwambia hakuna jambo limetendeka Elisha aliingia kwenye ile chumba mtoto alikuwa amelazwa na aka jifungia ndani yeye na yule mtoto akaomba akawekelea mikono yake juu ya kwa yule mtoto macho yake juu ya yule mtoto ndogo wake kwa ndogo ya yule mtoto na kweli wake na wakati huo yule mtoto akapanda uongo na Elisha akarudia tena hadi yule mtoto akapiga chapa ya maana saba anaweza kuamka bwana Yesu asifiwe na aka Elisha akamwambia achukue mtoto wake ameshaulishia bwana Yesu asifiwe tunasoma nini kwa hiyo hiyo story yule mama alipokuwa akimwita Elisha ili ajale ama alale kwake hakuwa na kitu chochote alikuwa anataka she did not look to get anything from God but wanted to give it. something without expecting anything na hapa ndio kuna kitu moja nataka kushikia hapa she trusted in God kuna trusting God to obey him before he has shown you exactly why he has called you to do it trusting God to obey him before he has shown you exactly why he has called you to do it what is your secret kumwamini Mungu kabla hujajua jambo ambalo alilokuitia kwa sababu huyo mwanamke hakuwa na jambo alikuwa anataka kufanywa yeye alitaka kumsaidia mtu wa Mungu alitaka mtu wa Mungu apate huduma yake ikiwa nzuri ama apate kuendeleza injili yake bila mashida nyingi because she obeyed God ndipo sanae Mungu akaweza kumbariki na mtoto bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe kuna vitu ambazo pia sisi wakati mwingine tunaona wakati umepita tunaona wakati umepita kwa sababu yule mwanamke alipoteza imani kwa sababu aliona wakati umepita mumewe ameshazeeka na hata pata mwana na akatungia huo uchungu nasi wakati mwingine pia tunapungia uchungu ndani yetu tunasema hili jambo haliwezi kutendeka hili jambo haliwezi kufanyika lakini Mungu ama wakati wa Bwana the time of God is not like our time because his time is perfect what is so secure na na nasi we have promises that God has promised us and in other instances we doubt God that he is going to do it kama yule mwanamke alimwambia usinidangane do not lie to me yourself sometimes we doubt God's promises because we have seen our time has passed God is going to bring whatever has passed ama mbaja wa mara 
our promises that we have said or we have seen as if they were not going to happen. Now, wakati mungine we get the promise, hata kama siwa mazuri ya mawe kukua ni mayapanya. Lakini, tena, lile jambo linaenda ama lina tuondokea. And we become frustrated like this woman. She was frustrated because she was given a son and then the son died. Na wakati huwa yutubu, alikuwa nao mwinga ya kiyaki mwangaria Elisha. Na anarudia hile jambo hile mwapia. Why? And I say to you, you do not lie to me. Nasi tukajua kuwa, siku ya leo. Kristo atarudisha ama ata tupa our promises that we have forgotten. Things that we have stopped believing. Kwa sababu kwenye Biblia, ama kwenye hiyo story, hakuna mahali. Tunawanesho ule mwanamuke alikuwa na imani. Imani yake alikuwa mwepotea. Mzee alikuwa mezeeka sana. Na alikuwa mekubali. Na sisi kuna mahapa ambao tumekubali haika tendeka. We have a promise that we have a bundle. God is going to bring our promises back. God is going to restore whatever the enemy has stored. God is going to restore whatever Satan has said to us. Haika panima. Kwa neso sifiwe. Na tango lingine ni kubuta ambalo wala nikifanya wakati ume. What God did then for you, bring to the present so that God is going to do something that's to you. Kwa neso sifiwe. Yule mama alikuwa kukwateza imani. Lakini kwa sababu mtu wa mungu wa nikuja, nani promise ya mba mungu wa mesema. Diposa ka mba uwe mdomu. Kwa neso sifiwe. Na sisipo kwa uzuri wetu, sikuwa kukamilika kwetu, ni kwa dawa ya Yesu Kristo. Unaweza simama mbele ya kwana, na ukasema kuwa, nataka my promises back. It is by the blood of Jesus that we can stand before the King and say to God that we want our promises back. Kwa nesu wa sikiwe. Na kuna pia, na mwana huyu mama, katika kitabu cha Second Kings, Second Kings, eight. Second Kings, eight, verse one to six. Then Elisha spoke to the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, "Arise and go, and you, you, you and your household will stay wherever you can, for the Lord has called a family." And furthermore, it will come upon the land for seven years. So the woman arose and did according to the say of the man of God. And she went with her household and dwelt in the land of the Philistines seven years. It came to pass, and at the end of seven years, that woman returned from the land of the Philistines, and she went to make an appeal to the king for her house and for her land. Then the king talked to Benghazi, the servant of the man of God, saying, Tell me, please, all the great things the rich has done. Now it has happened. As he was telling the king how he had restored the dead to life, that there was the woman whose son he had restored to life, appealing to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said, My Lord, O King, this is the woman, and this is her son, whom Elisha restored to life. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. So the king appointed a certain officer for her, for her saying, Restore all that was us and all the proceeds of the field from the day she left the land until now. When I saw the field, to no more now we want to care about Elisha. Katika ya chini kwa kuwa na ukam. 
Na akaambia aende kwa nchi ambayo atajitanga naye akaenda katika Kristo wa Filipi wa akaenda kwa Kristo akaishi huko miaka saba ambayo ilikuwa kuna ukame na hata seven years she came back and she went to pray to the king na wakati huo ndipo Gerazi alikuwa akimwambia mfalme mambo ambayo Elisha alikuwa amefanya at the exact moment that this servant of the man of God alikuwa akimwambia king na kulikuwa na kijana mmoja ambaye Elisha alikurudishia uhai na Yesu asifiwe na wakati yule akimwambia hivyo ndipo yule mama naye alikuwa akiingia into the king's court na ni wakati ana narrate whatever all the promises ama vitu ambazo Elisha alikuwa akifanya and the woman came and because the king asked kama ni hivyo yule mama akamwelezea na akamwelezea shida yake ambayo ilikuwa imemrejea kwa Yesu asifiwe na hilo ni kuonyesha mambo ambayo lazima tuvute then whatever we have then tuilete kwa sahihi ndiposa tuweze kupata jambo ambalo tunaliona kwa Yesu asifiwe na it is a perfect timing because kuna historia mingi sana za Elisha ambao aliyoyafanya na the exact moment anamwambia Elisha ah ah Gehazi anamwambia mfalme kuwa yule kuna mtoto ambaye alirudishiwa uhai kwa Yesu asifiwe ndipo yule mama anaingia kuna story ya mingi za Elisha kama vile alipokuwa I think ilikuwa Jericho wakati he purified bad water hiyo ni moja kuna story ya ya wito huwa ambaye mumewe alikuwa amekufa na the dancer alikuwa amekuja kumwambia yule mama utachukua vijana wako ni wafanye slaves ili waweze kulipa ile deni ambayo ilikuwa na baba yao lakini yule mama akamwelekea Elisha na kumwambia shida yake na Elisha akamuuliza huko na nini akasema niko tu na tumafuta kidogo Elisha akamwambia nenda uchukue uombe vessels we ujifungie na uombe nini alimwambia ombe nini ujifungie wewe na watoto wako siku ya leo bwana anauliza uko na nini watenga usii kama ni jambo kidogo hilo ndio bwana anatumia kwa Yesu asifiwe ndiposa you have to drag whatever god did for you na pia kuna story pia ya wakati Elisha alikuwa akipita dhiki kwa sababu wakati alikuwa patana wale vijana walikuwa kimtibana na kumwambia mzee kibaya na Elisha akaoa hizo ni story ya tu story mingi ambazo Gehazi alikuwa akimwambia testimony is that Gehazi was saying anasema kuna wakati mmoja pia kulikuwa na Abi Jeshi Nama alikuwa yeye kwa Elisha akama alikuwa na Ephesus anataka kuponywa Elisha akamwambia nenda kwenye mto Yordan jitumbukize mara saba naye kama hata akienda hakuwa na imani kwa sababu alisema katika Damascus kuna mito mingi mikubwa mizuri ambayo angetuma kama abana abana lakini ni watumishi wake na mani pia walio msihi na akaenda na akajitumbukiza hiyo ni story ambayo naona kama Gehazi hakumalizia kwa sababu alikuwa na testimonies kwa sababu wakati na mani alipokuwa amepoima na akarudi kumgift Elisha Elisha alisema hataki hizo zawadi na alipoenda Gehazi alikuwa akamfuata na mani na akaenda akamwambia My master has changed his mind. Anaweza kupatia zile dhiki. Na Gehazi akachukua na akaenda akajiwekea yeye mwenyewe. Na wakati aliporudi, Elisha akamuuliza kulikuwa wapi? Gehazi akasema sijaenda mahali. Lakini Elisha akamwambia, "Roho yangu ilikuwa na wewe na nilikuona 
chochote kile ambacho ulichokifanya na pia gaze akalivi the legacy that now ahead kwa sasa sivyo hilo ni nawa kama gaze alikuwa hapo kwa sababu ni udhaifu ambao alikuwa nao kwa sababu yeye alikuwa na roho kama Elisha kwa sababu tunamwona Elisha alipokuwa na Elisha kama msaidizi wake alikuwa na roho yake alitamani kukua kama Elisha na wakati Elisha alipokuwa akienda alimwambia ampe roho baba yake mara mbili kwa Yesu asijue lakini Gehazi hakuwa na kama ile roho lakini so kama Gehazi alikuwa na leprosy what is he doing in the king's court what else is he doing he is not the only person who was in the king's court that was restored what else is he doing kwa sababu pia hata yeye alikuwa amepojwa from leprosy what else is he doing sisi wakati mwingine tunaona udhaifu wetu tuna uficha hatusemi kwa shida ambayo tumepitia tuna picha shida ambayo tumepitia There are many stories. Wakati ni hadi uh, Elisha aliweza kupiga maji na akapata njia kupita katika mto Yordani. Lakini kwa hizo historia zote pia kulikuwa na ile wakati uh, king of Israel king of uh, it was Adam na king wa Israel walipokuwa kienda mtani na watakuwa hawana maji lakini kwa juda Jehoshaphat akawaambia kuna mtumishi wa Mungu mmoja Elisha wakaenda kwa na Elisha alisema why it not for Jehoshaphat ange kuongelesha mfano wa Israeli kwa Elisha sio kwa sababu alikuwa mwanamshi Mungu lakini aliwaambia they should dig trenches in the valley that maji chakuja hawataona we not the rain kwa nesa sifiwe lakini waipata maji kwa nesa sifiwe na tunaona the perfect time he has a report to the testimonies that God had done at the perfect time the woman was coming back after seven years hakujua kama kehazi atakuwa kwa mfano akimuelezea hayana baa kwa anayemtendea lakini wakati yule alikuwa akimwambia ndipo wakati alikuwa akijia Yesu asijue we should recite our testimonies what God did for us another season is going to restore this season kwa Yesu asijue wakati mmoja yule mama alikuwa na mtoto akapewa mtoto yule mtoto akakufa akaenda kwa kwa, kwa prophet na mtoto akakuwa restored back to life kwa Yesu asijue kwa hivyo hizo historia mimi ambazo aliweza kumwambia na hebu tusome neno lingine katika kitabu cha Psalms Psalms 119 Psalms 119 and 126 Psalms 119:125 and 126 I am your servant give me understanding that I may know your testimonies it is time for you to ask for all for they have regarded your law as void when I was speaking verse 25 I am your servant give me understanding that i may know your testimonies bwana yesu asifiwe bwana tupe kuelewa ili tukajua testimonies that god has done for us we recite the testimonies that god did for us we recite them today kwa sababu kuna neno lingine liko na sema then there is another word yet i have not received my miracle yet bwana yesu asifiwe It is just a matter of time when the perfect time of God comes atafanya nani na liposa verse 26 126 inasema it is time for you to act or what else is it 
Pastor Mzikina is the same. This time for you, for the Lord to work. What is the situation? 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 Kwa sababu it is just a matter of time As God in a store Yule mama alingia na akamwambia Falme Ni mimi ni mtoto wangu Alikuwa pamoja na kijana wake Kumwambia yule kijana ambaye ambaye ulishwa was restored back to life Na wakati yule king akasema yule mama arudishiwe shamba yake arudishiwe nyumba yake na mazao yote kwa hiyo miaka yote hapo kwa nini asifiwe na sisi tutarudishiwa yale yote ambayo tulikuwa tumepoteza. Nyumba yetu hata kama ilikuwa ni udhaifu wetu, ilikuwa ni makosa yetu, ilikuwa ni ni sisi it was our fault. But because we have the blood of Jesus, we can stand before God, we can stand before our King and we, and say that we claim whatever that we have lost is going to be restored in our lives this day. For us as you Na keep telling yourself ni kujikumbusha hata kama huwaambia mtu yeyote kwa sababu sio mtu na anaambia wewe ndio uje kwa nyu sio kumwambia mtu yeyote it is for you kujiambia kujihubiria yale bwana alikufanyia so that hautapoteza imani kwa sababu sikiwi na sio kwa uzuri wetu it is by God's grace that we receive kwa sababu sikiwi kwa sababu yule mwanamke hakuna mahali kwa Biblia tunaoneshwa alikuwa na imani aliomba Mungu akasema baba nimerudisha imani yangu tanipia mtoto kwa Yesu asifiwe ni because ni neno ambalo lilinenwa na prophet kwa Yesu asifiwe na si we have promises we should trust God's time na kuna one point there God's time is stretching to increase my trust in him. What else does he feel? God's time is created to increase my trust in him. What else does he feel? For sabao, at the perfect time, God is going to do something. What else does he feel? Now, we have a list of the name of the God of the Lord. We have a list of the God of the Lord. What else does he feel? Peace belongs to me. Peace belongs to me. Peace belongs to me. Ah, when you talk, I have to be asked to. Let us see you. Peace belongs to me. Peace belongs to me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Joy belongs to me. Joy belongs to me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Freedom is my inheritance. Freedom is my I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I belong. I belong. Because. Because. I believe. I believe. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Through the devil. Peace belongs to me. Peace belongs to me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Joy belongs to me. Joy belongs to me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Freedom is my inheritance. Freedom is my inheritance. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I belong because I belong because I believe I believe I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Bwana abariki sana. Amen. Wakati wewe tunakusikiliza Bwana awanie na rejeshe mambo ambayo yamechukuliwa na our enemies back because we shall recite the testimonies of God. Bwana abariki sana.